All right, so concept one was membranes are fluid and flexible. And so on this one, you were supposed to take the straws, put it in the soap thing, and as you have it, it can bend, it can flex, it can move without popping. It just popped right there, but yeah, so, and that membrane's still there. So that's what concept one is talking about. Concept two is talking about how membranes can self-repair. So if I make, film like this, I can stick my finger through it and that film is still there. And I take it out, film's still there. So cell membranes are able to do that same thing. They can self-repair if something were to damage it. Um, concept three, a little bit more tough to do. Concept three is talking about how there are small structures within that thing. So if I were to take a bubble, It's kind of hard to see, but if you're looking at it, there's a small structure within that structure. It's kind of similar to how organelle work. Okay. Number four is going to be one of the hardest ones for me to do. Number four is talking about how we have proteins that act like channel proteins um, for stuff to move in and out. So this is the one where you have your circle or your loop of string. And so I'm going to try and make a film and put this on there. And then I've got to poke it. So it's kind of hard to see, but now I've got this string with this loop in it. And there's actually nothing in the middle of this because I poked it. And so now it kind of behaves like a channel protein because stuff can go in and out of that. So there's no, no soap film right here. It's hard to see from where you're at, but that's what's going on. Number five talks about gap junctions and proteins. So this one's probably the hardest one for you to see. What a gap junction is, it's kind of like an um, transport between them. It's kind of like little tunnels between cells um, for them to transport stuff easily. That way it doesn't have to deal with going through the membrane and everything like that. So on this one, what you do is you blow a big bubble and then as you're about to take the straw out, you continue blowing and it creates a t this temporary little tunnel for like a second or two. So it goes. I don't know if you saw it, but when I pulled the straw away, there was about an inch um, long little tunnel. So I'll try it again. That was a good one right there. So hopefully that worked. Um, the last one for concept six. So that five was talking about how cells are easily able to transport stuff because they have these little tunnels between them called gap junctions. Six, bacteria reproduce their binary fission. Um, it's basically where they cleave that cell membrane in half and they make an identical copy of themselves. So this is the one where you actually get to blow bubbles. So for instance, for this, let me just make one big one. Um, sorry, I should have had a string beforehand. And so what you're gonna do right here is you're gonna take string and you're gonna cut this in half. Cause that's how binary fission works is it basically just creates a little barrier. So I've got one big bubble right here, but then now I've got two. That one can split, that one can split. And so every time I do that, it splits it right in half. That's how bacteria 